Hey, welcome back. As we were making some new friends this morning, <laughs> let's go over there a minute. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Uh, if you watched that last video, <laughs> you never mind that. Yeah, one comment I liked was, you know, sometimes we have to relearn an old lesson. You know, every once in a while. I'm I'm gonna see if I can make some new friends today. <laughs> Look what I got. I got yummy carrots. Anybody interested? Huh? Anybody? Oh, this might take a take a little bit before anybody notices that there's a human over here with carrots. <laughs> so give it a couple of minutes. Come on, come on. I see you looking. So, I know there's some chickens here, goats, donkeys, or mules, I don't know the difference. Horses, obviously. And, and here they come. Look what I got. I got nice tasty carrots. Got a whole bag of them. Come on. Come on. No? There you go. Oh, there you go. So, you, wait, you brought carrots? Did you bring us some yummy carrots? Huh? <laughs> this guy. Uh-oh. They're getting their attention. Oh, good morning. You want a carrot? Says, I'll take a carrot. Darn right, I'll take a carrot. This guy's safe. I'll have one. I'll have another one. These are some these are some pretty dang big carrots. Maybe I should uh break them in half. Here, there you go. There you want carrots. You want carrot? Bite it off. Here you can have a whole thing. Oh there's a the whole carrot to myself. Wait a minute, he says, where's mine? Where's my carrot? There's mine. There you go. <laughs> hey, I haven't had one. Here you go. I haven't had one. <laughs> he's, he's chasing them off, see. These are my carrots. Here you go. There's one for you. Wait, there you go. <laughs> that little. <laughs> He says, he got chased off. He took his carrot and ran. He says, you ain't getting my carrot. Hi, well, hello, hello. Look, I got your carrots. You're gonna get a pet, a little patting on the head, okay? He says, look, I haven't had one yet. I have not had a carrot. Where's mine? Where's mine? Here it goes. There you go. Hey, you guys, okay, this bag of carrots is gone. This is the last one. And you can have it. And you can have it, okay? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You ready? Ready? There he goes. Sorry, but oh, you dropped your carrot on the wrong side of the fence. Here, I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it over there. It's getting too short. I don't trust your teeth. Okay, everybody happy? Everybody that wanted a carrot got a carrot? Yeah, you had one back there. Just a hello and good morning, everybody. Huh? Just a hello, good morning. Huh? No, you can't have my camera. You can't eat. Well, you're not you're not you're not gonna eat my camera. <laughs> good morning to say. You had one. You had one. Everybody had one. <laughs> uh, 
thought you had one. It's good. All right, that's it. Just thought I'd say hello, guys. Try and make some new friends. Nothing wrong with new friends, right? <laughs> now I feel better. If you watched that last video, <laughs> maybe I need a new friend or several. All right, where, where are we at? We're staying at um, this is Big Mike's Horse Ranch. Oh, I always forget the towns. I have to post it here somewhere. We're very, uh, very in the, in the southern part of Georgia. I think we're only you know, 20 minutes or so just north of Florida. It's been nice. Um, and, and Mike is a real nice guy. He, uh, he has this little RV park set up. We're actually boondocking in a one of his pastures. <laughs> and he has a sign up, Mike's RV uh, Park. But there's no hookups over there. Um, he allows people to just come stay for free. I would imagine you could wear out your welcome if you stayed for too long, but I don't, there's no uh, time limits or nothing like that posted. Might be one of the things where he just starts giving you some hints maybe after you've been here for a couple of, you know, a week or two or three or <laughs> at some point, you know. Um, and this line over here, though, does have hookups. Full hookups. Yeah, electric water, sewage. And I think he charges $20 a night if you want hookups. But if you want a boondock. Um, and actually, the ground was a little bit soft over there. Uh, there's been a lot of rain lately and actually somebody got stuck they pulled them out i'm over here by the hookups even though i'm not hooked up i'm over here on drier ground so that's why i'm over here in the hookup section and right behind the pasture uh, is a pond and i guess there's a lot of catfish in it uh, mike does a lot of fishing Uh, you can probably see the RVs up there. Huh. Bella's got to get herself another drink. Is that good? Come on, this way. Come on. Uh oh, there's no bridge across there. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's go find the brother bridge. It's cool how this uh, how this little pond it just kind of has fingers, <laughs> it just breaks off and meanders all all through here. Little benches. Place to sit when you're fishing. I guess there's catfish and uh, some bass in here. Now here's the bridge up here that Bill won't have nothing to do with. Because uh, this bridge has these big gaps in it. I don't like the looks of that. <laughs> huh? Come on, let's go this way. We better watch out for gators. <laughs> Alright, come on, girl. Yeah, I think we've stayed here. 
long enough maybe. Geese and ducks, chickens, horse, mules, goats. This bridge was okay. What do you think, Bella? She says, yeah, they're okay. They're okay. I don't know where my day's gone. It just flew by. Oh, I had to put... You know, it's been nice just to sit for... A handful of days. It's somewhere that's free and nice, and quiet. I had the, uh, yeah, I had some work that uh, I had a bunch of work that came in, so I've been busy working all week. I have that all but wrapped up. One little thing, last thing left. And the bounder needed some attention. I put a new cap and rotor on it. And it immediately seemed to run better, but it still wasn't quite right. So I picked up spark plugs for it and I laid underneath it. It's actually pretty easy from underneath on a, on a bounder that old. Put the spark plugs in it today. And the fan belts, I failed to check, I failed to check those uh, thoroughly when I bought it. The mechanic did take a quick peek at it. The circuit team belt. It was all there. It looked okay. But I I thought the ones that have a serp serpentine belt, that's it. They have the one serpentine belt. I didn't know there was it also had some V belts. So anyway the serpentine belt has supposed to have six six ribs. It's six ribs wide. And the old one that was on it was only down to three. And one of those was coming off. It was down to two. Like two and a half ribs. That belt was not going to last much longer at all. So I got lucky. And took and uh, got that change before it broke. Because then the water pump quits running. Then it really overheats. And bad stuff starts happening. <laughs> and, and then there was, uh, there was two of those V-belts a matched pair uh, it takes two to run the power steering pump well one of them was missing and there wasn't much left of the one that remained so, so my power steering was kind of squealing and not working as good as it could so I put all the new belts on it and it's so much better power steering works and it doesn't grumble about it Oh, and the serpentine belt also runs the alternator, so when the alternator was under a load, that belt would squeal. So now it starts up, it's quiet, and it does run better. Got those belts out of the way. Other than, that's probably, that's pretty high on the list of something that leaves you stranded. You know, besides a flat tire, probably the most common. Possibly overheating. But you have belt failure. You probably definitely get to overheat uh, and other problems. Your power steering stops working and the old nature quits putting out power and it's bad stuff. It's important to make sure your belts are in good condition. Anyway, yeah, and it's probably getting close to being due to change the oil in it again here pretty soon. Not yet, but so it's been good to sit, get caught up on some, uh, give Betty some love and And now I got my work caught up. We'll probably be on our way here. No idea where I'm going. I need to go to the store, so I'll probably go to the, I guess the Walmart like 30 miles away. I kind of hate to leave this place. It's no rush, no hurry, no pressure. It's free. Hey, 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 what are you doing over there? What would you do?
Yeah, so we're probably going to get out of here. I wish there was more places like this. I definitely marked it on my maps. I get in the southern Georgia or Florida area, get traveling, traveling to get in this area. I know places you can just park it for a while. It's definitely all my places to return. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Uh, anything else? Anything else I forgot? Probably not. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, share, subscribe. What else? <laughs> That's it. Come on, Bella. Let's get, let's get ready and get going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.